Hi all. Today we are going to discuss about species concept, different species concept. We all are familiar with the term species. So what do we mean by a species? It is the basic unit of taxonomy. And if we are talking about a human being, that is Homo sapiens, or token a tree, that is Cocos nocifera, all we are dealing is with the species. So it is the only category dealing directly with the plants or animals. Ernest Mayer gave a beautiful definition for a species. It is a group of actually or potentially interpreted natural populations that are reproductively isolated from other such groups. So, a species must be a natural population which should interbreed each other and reproduce for a fertile offspring and are reproductively isolated from other such groups. And there are a species, the a species must contain some general character, that means they are genetically similar individuals. Members exhibit distinctive common features. We know a species has some common features and they are reproductively isolated. As per the definition, and members should interbreed and produce fertile offspring. It occupies a special or specific ecological niche. Is the ecological niche of one species is different from the ecological niche of another species and it evolved from a pre-existing ancestral species so these are the general characters shown by a species apart from that there is a one more term called ideal species ideal means we know it's a perfect situation and if a species doesn't have any taxonomic problem it doesn't have any intraspecific categories like subspecies, variety, subvariety, forma, subforma, and they are genetically isolated from other species. They produce sexually and partially out of it. Then such species is known as ideal species. So this is a perfect situation. These are about the species. And regarding the different species concepts. There are mainly five species concepts called nominalistic, typological, taxonomic, biological, and evolutionary. We will see each species concept separately. First one is the nominalistic species concept. And this concept is only for academic interest. And according to this species concept, only individuals exist. And all species are man-made abstraction. If we are saying this is a one species and that is an another species, all these are man-made. Only individual exist. This is the concept of nominalistic species. When it comes to the second category, typological species concept or essentialism. This was proposed by John Gray and elaborated by Linnaeus. And this species concept believes in the fixity of species. As for this concept, the species are static, immutable and ideal. Okay. And the members of each species are only copies. If a species uh, comprises 100 individuals, suppose. And there is, uh, if over the 100 individuals are the copies of each ideal type. So, according to typological species concept, a single species or a species has an ideal type and the remaining members are the copies of that ideal type. That is about typological species concept. Third one is the morphological or taxonomic species concept. Morphology. We know it is, uh, there is something related to the morphological characters. So, in this concept, a member of a species are the individuals with common morphological species characters. So, a group of individuals with common morphological characters are called as morphological species concept. Fourth one is the biological species concept. This is the uh, Definition we studied earlier that is proposed by Ernest Mayer. So, according to biological species concept, a group of actually or potentially interbreeding natural populations 
that are reproductively isolated from other such groups. The one of the important or the plus point for this concept was apart from morphology, this concept considered anatomical, physiological, and cytological features. And at present, we are following the biological species concept, a group of actually or potentially interbreeding natural populations that are reproductively isolated from other such groups. And the last concept is evolutionary species concept or otherwise called as phylogenetic species concept. According to this concept, a species is a monophyletic group of organisms with a parental pattern of ancestry. What do I mean by a monophyly? Just uh, look at the picture. Well, A is the ancestor and A gives rise to B, C, D. That is the descendants or the offspring. So, the ancestor along with all of its descendants, this B, C and D is called a monophyletic group. So, all these belong to a single species. That is the evolutionary species concept or the phylogenetic species concept. So, we see what is a species, what are the characteristics of a species, what is an ideal species and different species concept. This is all regarding the species and species concept. Thank you. And if you uh, like the video, please subscribe my channel.